All right, all right. Today, we've got an interesting topic for you, and I'm going to be talking about some of the biggest reasons why people are not losing weight, okay? Some of the mistakes we do with our training, some of the mistakes we do with our diet. So I want you guys to stay tuned with me right to the end because I'm going to be dropping some knowledge bombs. But before we get started, let's get into a little bit of our training for today. Because with our training, there's a lot that's to be taken into consideration. Now, I'm aware that you guys understand that every um, training program has its own purpose. So um, this is a new training program that I started. If you guys watched the previous episodes, um, you would notice that my weight I'm actually lifting has decreased by quite a bit, but my volume with each um, exercise has gone up by quite a bit. So I've transitioned from a power building phase training into a more volumized training now the purpose of this training so you guys have a better idea when you're watching these videos um, for the next couple of weeks is just to one pump as much blood into the muscle to give my joints a bit of a break however as the training goes because it's going to be a 10-week program as the training goes you guys are going to notice that um, even with volume um, with the number of sets and number of reps going up my some of my sets might decrease and my overall um, number of reps for heavier weights is going to go up. So my weight's going to slowly increase. So the volume is actually going to increase by quite a bit. But also, my goal now is going to be more powering through some heavy weights with volume, okay? So it's going to be pretty exciting. I'm actually really excited for this program because we're going to get to a stage where we're going to be lifting some crazy heavy weights for an insane amount of reps so this is the starting point of this program which is always the funnest bit it's always harder to get into a new program uh we started off with some hack squats today okay now um i don't know if most of you followed through with my last deadlift my uh hips were slightly injured after my last deadlift pull i decided to pull that knowing how i feel it's getting better it's getting better, but the transition into this program has been brilliant for it. Uh, and also just talking about my form and technique here. So I decided to change on the hack squat a little bit because my butt was getting off the seat and I was getting a bit of a rounded back at the bottom. Um, I just think this machine wasn't designed for me biomechanically as well. And I was starting to get a little bit of back pain. So I changed a bit of my form and technique with all three different um all four different exercises or sets that I did. So you guys would know this in the video as well too. So just a bit of quick overview. Um, a lot of volume training today. We did um, hack squats, eight reps, very nice and light. Then we go into lunges, but we've got 20 reps each leg for lunges. And we've got five sets. So it's um, ideally about 200 reps of lunges, which, which is pretty intense. Um, and then we go on to our leg press uh where we end up doing three minutes and aiming for 200 reps in 30 minutes um and all of these i also had percentages of my body weight that I had to actually hit so it was pretty intense um this was only 20 kilo dumbbells it wasn't too bad um in the start so that's what i thought and then as i went through i felt like death so but i want to go through um a few of the things that i did quickly before i jump into our topic of the biggest mistakes that people make when they are trying to lose weight. And when I get onto that, we're going to start off with the nutritional side of things first. Um, and then we'll go into the training side of things. Okay. But just quickly over here, while I was doing those lunges, I could really, really feel. I could really zone in and get those reps in. And I felt that felt good. Like it was that overpowering thing. The, the crazy thing about this workout is I didn't expect how hard it actually would be. So... I thought I was going in for a chiller workout, more of a deload, lighter weight. But when I went in there, it hit me. But it's also very doable. So it's one of those workouts that sucks you in and draws you in because, look, you're like, I'm using lightweights. So it's going to be easy. But then once you start doing it and, you know, it's still lightweight. So you tell yourself, I'm going to keep going and keep going. And by the end of the day, you are effed up, you know, like it kills you. <laughs> but it's a great workout. So now let's jump into the topic of um, the biggest mistakes that people make when they are trying to lose weight, and the first one, the number one thing, is starving themselves for too long. Okay, now 
I've talked a little bit, so if you guys haven't caught up on my previous episodes, please do because this will make much more sense as well too. I mean, this will make sense regardless, but this will help you understand this a lot better. But I always go over again, like as most of you would know, in order for you to lose weight, you have to be eating in a deficit, okay? So if you don't know what a deficit is, I explained it in my last one. Um, now what happens is when you're in a deficit, you basically are starving yourself, okay? You're in starvation mode. You're giving your body less than what it actually needs to function, okay? Losing weight is not normal for your body. Neither is putting on weight. Your body does not like change, okay? So whatever you do to your body, it's going to take time to adjust to it. And that's okay. That's fine. We're just going to be smart in this approach. So what do we do? If we are going to drop our calories low, when we do drop it, at some point in our diet, we need to give ourselves a diet break. And this is the biggest reason and mis biggest mistakes that people do. They keep dieting and dieting and dieting down with no diet breaks. Now, I'm going to make this as simple as possible so you guys can really, really grasp it. If I was dropping my calories, okay, from 1,800 to let's say 1,200 calories, okay, just so I could lose weight and lose weight quick. My body is not going to catch up, but eventually it will try to be adapting. You know, your body always tries to adapt to anything equal and opposite. That's your homo homeostatic background in your body, okay? It's just normal. It happens, you know? It's a good. It's actually something that's good because it actually helps heal us a lot of times. So it's, we actually need that in our body. Now we're trying to do something like lose weight, which is not normal for our body. So what are we doing? We're dropping our calories low eventually the body is going to be trying to catch up and catch up and how does that do it you are going to be sacrificing a lot okay you start to lose energy you start to feel tired in the day um your sex drive goes down there's so many things um that your body does um in order for you to adjust because a lot of these things are actually dependent on the energy based on the food you eat in the day so hope you guys are still with me okay so if you drop your calories too low, your body is going to be trying to adapt and go back to your 1,200 calories and make that a maintenance level calorie. Okay, now that's not that's not an, that's not enough. That's that's not all. Okay, so if your body after you've dropped it and your body is trying to get to that maintenance level calories, okay, once it gets there, if you eat above that you eventually spike in your body into weight gain. So that's where one of the biggest mistakes is. You do, like If you want to combat this, and I'm always going to tell you, look, this is a mistake you're making, but this is how to fix it. A great way is to just give yourself a bit of a diet break. Okay, So while your body is trying to really lower down and lower down your metabolism and slow down your metabolism, you're going to trick it with a bit of a higher calorie meal and, or, in a, like, or a few higher calorie meals or higher calorie weeks. So then... It stops the adjustment and says, look, no, it's okay, you know. He's eating well. Um, you know, he's fueling well. You're giving him the energy he needs to go back. So it starts coming back up and up and up again, okay? Now, like I said, you've tricked your body. And then afterwards, you can go back again onto diet. And so it's just a little bit of a give your body a bit like give your body a bit of love tricking your body a little bit so then that way you can continuously keep dieting if not it becomes very hard for you to keep going uh, continuously because eventually your body will catch up and then where do you go from there that's the bigger question that's where do you go from there do you know what i mean so those are the things that we got to take into consideration that's a very big part and plays a big role in it while we do it as well too so what have we learned from this? It is important to give ourselves a diet break as well too when we are undergoing a uh, diet phase to lose weight at some point. Okay, Now, that is number one. Do not starve yourself. Number two, okay, and this is something that people often do. Okay, A lot of people are like, look, I'm going to cut out all my carbs, but I'm going to eat all the fats in the world. Okay, Now, let me just quickly tell, remind you guys something. Okay, one gram of carbohydrates equals four calories. One gram of fat equals nine, okay? So ideally, if you do decide to cut out your carbs, you should be eating half as much quantity of fats if you want to reach your caloric intake and make sure you're still in the deficit, okay? Now, it's very easy. I know fats are sachet and doesn't necessarily mean 
that it's not easy to consume a big amount of fats. Like how easy is it to consume a whole block of chocolate, you know? And these are the things that we often forget. And look, we're all guilty of them. Look, I'm going to have a low carb day, a low carb day. And let me tell you guys a little bit more about why this is crazy and how this jokester of, you know, low carb diet um, throws into our body. And look, I'm not dissing the keto diet. I'm not saying it's a bad diet. The keto diet is actually a really good diet if it is done properly and is stuck to. I'm just saying... There's a big reason why people are eating low carbs and still not losing weight. And this is one of the biggest reasons, okay? If you decide to go low carb, please still track your macros. Track the amount of carbs you have, sorry, the amount of um, fats you're having in your diet because it is so easy to go over your caloric um, requirements. Very, very easy, in fact, okay? Now, carbs are also polar to water. So, a lot of the things that people don't know is... Most of the time, you jump onto a low-carb diet and you're going to look like, whoa, I've dropped, dropped like two kilos straight away. You feel good about yourself. You look leaner because when you do drop your water, you actually do look leaner, okay? Um, however, carbs also, and this is the thing that I'm gonna, you guys are going to even hate more, hold muscle glycogen. And muscle glycogen can actually weigh grams or kilos. Like They actually can weigh a bit. Now, what muscle glycogen is basically is you actually store energy in your muscles. So when your muscles need to use them, they grab them. And carbs are, it's your body needs to actually convert the glucose into the glycogen so your body can use it. It's very easily um, usable. However, muscle glycogen also still holds one a bit of weight. So it's very easy for you to drop weight when you drop your carbs because you do when you when you start to drop your carbs, your muscle glycogen stores can be depleted. Okay. And then now it's gonna make you appear that you are looking leaner, or you're gonna also drop a bit of kilos and think, oh, I've dropped this amount of kilos, it's working. However, over time you realize you've been eating that for a while, and then you start to put on weight and you're like, Oh, I'm just eating low carbs. And even worse, you have a tiniest bit of carbs. You know that meme where people say, look, I just look at carbs and I get fat. It's not carbs that's doing that to you guys. It's actually ensuring that you are eating overall in a deficit because the principles are out there and you guys know that. But this is why I bring these things to your attention so you guys are more aware. Like I said, this, I'm not beating um, a low carb diet. A low carb diet is fantastic. It's amazing, but it's for you, it's awesome for you to understand um, that if you are going on a low carb diet, you are going to drop weight, most likely water to start with, and then body fat. Um, but it's dropping body fat is something that you got to be very patient with. Okay, it's not gonna happen all in one day. But I understand that. Being on a low carb diet where you drop weight very quickly can be very motivating. It can really make you feel on a high because you drop that much weight so quick, it actually motivates you to stick to it. Now, the actual key term here is longevity and consistency. If you can be consistent with weight loss, staying on track with your plan that you have, in fact, if you can be consistent with anything, it's very highly likely that you will succeed, okay? So, being able to be consistent on your diet also requires motivation. This is why people sometimes find a low-carb approach better because you're dropping that weight continuously. You're also dropping water. You're dropping glycogen stores, and you're constantly seeing results, okay? Then eventually, you're also still in ketosis. So, you end up with dropping body fat too. So, it is why, one of the biggest reasons it also works, but it's also one of the, this is also, I'm also here to highlight one of the biggest reasons why it can also trick you, okay? And why you could just finish a low carb diet and, you know, be like, my dieting phase is over, so I'm going to have some carbs. And then boom, we're back to square one. And in fact, sometimes you might not even be back to square one. You're just going to start to hold a bit more water. You could have still dropped some fat. But you might just feel a lot more bloated and watery and all that kind of stuff. So, like I said, I'm just here to highlight 
and make aware of what's actually going on in your body when we decide to make some of these decisions, okay? So it's important for you guys to know, and I'm glad you guys are here with me. And if you guys are here listening to this, I'm glad you guys are actually staying with me. And I know I've changed a bit of the structure to my videos these days because I thought I could actually be giving you guys tips while you have the workouts. At the end of the day, I'm putting the workouts on the screen for you guys. And I'm also putting the refs and sets so you can emulate the workouts as well. However, I thought be able to give be able to give me a chance to give you guys more advice on topics that you guys like. So please drop them in the comments below what topics you like to see. And I'm also gonna shout out um, whoever some um, comments. Like if I'm doing a topic on the comment that you raised, I'm gonna be shouting it out in the video. So please drop in the comments below what topics you guys want to see next. And on my videos, you're going to be getting more, more than just training, okay? Advice, I'm going to be answering questions from you guys, okay? Because at the end of the day, it's you that matters. This is why I'm doing this, okay? So I'm doing this for you. So yeah, drop these questions below because I want to answer these questions um, for you. I want to help you guys be the best version of yourselves as well too. So let's get back let's get into training aspect of things okay now excessive cardio okay people get to a point where they've dropped their calories that low that the only place where we can move when we're trying to diet is increasing our cardio okay now this is not a bad thing if your recovery system is good and you as a person can take it you're you're not putting too much on your central nervous system however your body needs rest. You can only take so much as well too, where especially when your calories are low, your body is not recovering and then you're still hammering it. That's where the issue becomes because if you're in the deficit already, you're most likely going to be struggling with recovery, okay? So excessive amounts of training and cardio just so you can meet that goal. It's only going to get you or take you backwards eventually. Eventually, your body is going to be like, I can't take any more of this. Okay, and your body's gonna be like, nah, that's it. We're going back. You're gonna put it's gonna pull your energy away. That's when you, you're gonna start feeling like you're crashing, you have no energy, your mental health goes down, like everything starts crashing down, and you're like, I need a break, I need a break from the gym. Okay, but what did I talk about before consistency, right? You need to be consistent, and that's the issue. Okay, how can you be consistent if you go hard and keep crashing? And then you ha you feel like you have to start from square one, okay? So be smart with your training, okay? Um, make sure if you're going to be training more, make sure you have enough sleep. Make sure you're not abusing caffeine or pre or pre workouts, okay? Your body is very very sensitive to these things, okay? So you need to be able to do everything strategically. You need to be smart with your approach, with your training and nutrition. You need to make sure that. If you're going on a plan to lose weight, okay, if I want to lose 10 kilos of weight, I'm not going to start on 1,200 calories because where am I going to move from that? See, this is where people go wrong. Another, That's another tip for you guys as well too, starting on too low calories, okay? It's okay if you're like, look, I want to drop to 1,200 calories and I'm only going on like, you know, a six to eight week like cut or like a four week cut and that's it. Afterwards, I'm going to reverse out, Boom. But you start to go, if you're looking at a long-term goal, that is bad. That's honestly bad. You're not going to get anything out of that because eventually you're going to have to do a bit of a reset or you're going to end up having to run yourself down by having to do excessive amounts of cardio, which isn't ideal for you at any point and is never okay um, for you to be running your body down. Look, I understand when it comes to competitions, there is certain things that are done that are overly excessive okay um i'm not gonna comment on that because at the end of the day everyone's got their own goals and some people would literally push past the breaking point and past the health point when it comes to competition so that's okay however because I, look i'm not I, i'm not here to control anyone's life but this is me telling you some of the things for everyday life losing weight in the proper way living healthy, feeling good. I want to take a moment and say thank you so much to everyone that's been supporting my journey. I'm very, very appreciative of your time over here. 
I hope I'm bringing enough value to you guys and I want to, so help me help you. Drop in the comments below what you want to see more of and I will be posting it. Like I said, what if you have any topics or anything, I'm also going to be posting in my um, community page. Um, I'd like and ask me anything as well too, which I'll be actually covering these topics um, with my voiceovers when I do them too. So stay tuned guys there's a lot more to come it's a lot more with the training this is my last set over here i didn't get to depth as i would have really wanted to um because i was trying to pump out 200 reps in three minutes and it turns out that it's actually pretty hard to be it's almost it was almost impossible because for me to be able to get the amount of reps in there i needed to um speed up the reps and i couldn't there's no way i could have sped up the reps um without going for sure the ref so it was an interesting one powerful one i gave him my best the best that i could and i almost went non-stop you know like i stopped only a little a few times in this one so it's good all right all right guys i just want to say a big thank you hope you guys are having an awesome day night wherever you are i appreciate all the love and continuous support uh, massive shout out to Graph Language for the donation in the last live stream as well too. Like I said, I'm always shouting out you guys um, and I see everything you do. Thank you so much and I hope you guys have an awesome day and night. And yeah, your boy is out. Stay tuned, turn on post notifications, subscribe, share, like, share it on all your platforms, Facebook, Instagram, all the other stuff. Your boy is out. Peace.